Oh, yeah. It is the raw wrap up. It is a full house and then some. Thank you, everybody, for dropping in here. It is the blab.im. It's just on my own Sorgatron account for the moment. Uh, but we're ready to talk some Monday Night Raw. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter in Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios. With us, first of all, is May, no, Mainstream Matt. Yes. Uh, also from the Pittsburgh area, our friend in the mainstream media. How you doing, sir? I'm super duper sore. Thanks. Fantastic. Also, also, and check out his Around the Indies column. Just popped up on IndieWrestling.us today. I did not got a chance to get in there, but I, I'm looking forward to see what's happening over the weekend. Also with us. Oh, and he was here just Damn. enough for me to get the plug in, apparently. <laughs> So it's, it's all he wanted. It's all he wanted. He's like, I'm good. I'm out. I'm oh, out. I don't care. Oh. I didn't even watch Raw. He doesn't want to watch Raw. He doesn't want to talk about us. He just wants to get his plug and leave. That's fine. That's right. I see Let how us... it is, Mike. I see how it is, Matt. That means I can pop corner square. So I feel like. Uh, the funny part is, if they watch this later, the video, it doesn't matter. The square no, is going to move around. It, it it, it's not matter. the same as what you're seeing here. Uh, Bobby F. J. Town from Johnstown, PA, joining us. Also part of InsertCoinToBegin.com. Circle gets a square. And yes. Also representing InsertCoinToBegin.com as well as Riz Plays Games on the YouTubes. The Riz on his sexy new mic. I'll take Whoopi Goldberg for, Whoopi Goldberg for the block. Mm-hmm. Look out, Whoopi. Uh, so, yeah, so Raw. Uh, now we're down to uh, the few of us that were in the Hangout together. So, hi, guys. Um, hi. And, and hello, everybody watches. Hi, Mike out there and uh, everybody else popping in uh, as well. Uh, please, if you have any comments, please let us know in the chat here as we go. Uh, so, uh, first, that end. That end, guys. That end. Uh, <laughs> that was <laughs> First of all, I didn't think Charlotte was going to get through talking about her brother. Uh, at the first part, I'm like, oh, this is this is this is over. It's going to start getting awkward, and then it just got pushed way over the edge with Paige make, dropping the comment, dropping the the page bomb about about her dead brother. Um, when's the last time we've in 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 you know this isn't the first time somebody's like blah 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 your dead whatever relative or whatever that wrestling got real like that. It's been a while. Yeah. When? No, the last time it happened was uh Paul Bear. No. What are you thinking? When uh Nikki died in the womb. <laughs> I wish you died in the womb. Okay, okay. There's Back wishing real. There's wishing death. Yeah. Back but some, real. But, as, as, but that's different from you know working around somebody that actually did die. Yeah. That is true. So well, no, no, the last time they did that was um Oh yeah, that was Paul Bear, but I'm thinking about the uh, Eddie's dead, Eddie can't help you type thing. That's right, that's right. And I think there's a, a, a oh, that's crass and that's whatever. It's like yeah, but that's wrestling, you know what I mean? Yeah, there has to be those tensions of that. realism. Like I mean, and you got you guys have been watching wrestling as long as I have. Like there's a certain point. Watch that. Even us are like, it, did this just go over the the the. Did it just go over the line? What's happening here? You know, like, 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 like it kind of, it felt real regardless. Right. Right. So, and that's what I've heard like multiple people on Twitter and, and Facebook and all that go one or both one or two ways on this one. It was either that was a really good, really good promo. I'm sold on this match, which I think we, the three of us are in that group. And there was the other side, which was that was a waste of time. Why was that the main event? It wasn't a waste of time. Well, I, I, I think I think we the, the, those people are the very jaded people, oh, yeah. to be quite honest. Yeah. So I mean, you're going to get that, and it is the internet. Um, but 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 you know, we were kind of this, and we're like, wow. The, the and I made the comment on Twitter uh, via the Mayhem account. Mm-hmm. Um, at Mayhem Show, if you guys want to follow us on there during these, uh, the Raw, especially we, we we try to have a bit of commentary on there. Uh, so so yeah, our our Raw lead up to Survivor Series ended with the Divas. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is truly Triple H's WWE. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, and I I I can't believe, it. and even like looking the flashback of of they did a lot of, and I noticed they kept going back, like they kept going back to they kept trying the, to sell you on the on the on the divas match. 
Yeah, like the first time I was like, oh, okay, here's a flashback. Okay, that's interesting. They're going all the way back to Paige's debut. And like, oh, they went to this. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, wait, this is like the third or fourth of these that they've done. Um, what's happening here? And, and I should have seen the writing on the wall that something big was going to happen with this. I guess they're in South Carolina, of course. You know, it makes sense with the flair thing. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, my, Matt, I, th- I think you're you're with us now. You're, you yeah. seem to be all right. Uh, what were your thoughts on that final segment with the Divas? Um, uh, I, I appreciated the effort, um, to really, really heat up the match, but I am certain there are going to be people out there who are offended by the fact that, um, they brought in, uh, the deceased but, Reed Flair's name into this whole thing. I'm not, it's you know, not the first time they've done it's that. Not my, I don't feel like it's my place to say, mm-hmm. but there will be people who are going to feel this way. I think yeah. it, I, if you're in that. I think that means they did their job. Yeah. Who knew about Reed Flair? Like, like I, I want, I want to know for a fact who knew about Reed Flair. I, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Big he's, he's, not Day, he's not Dave Flair. My dad no, didn't, no, no. My dad didn't know he passed away. Yeah. Nobody. I, yeah. I, I forgot Reed Flair was, you know, a, 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 he was a wrestler. I thought. He he was starting to wrestle. Yeah. He was young, like he was thirteen or whatever. Whenever uh, WCW was bringing him in, mm-hmm. like I think like they had him wrestle Bischoff or some stupid I thing. Think at he might have wrestled. I think he might have wrestled Dave. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I mean that they brought the younger son, the yeah. younger brother, in as well, and, and did something with him back then. There was the whole thing that Flair called off a show because he wanted to see his kids wrestling tournament. So, and I think he was starting to pursue pursue pro wrestling. Uh, when whatever happened and, and he passed, so um, no, I think it's 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 interesting. No, and I I think I think it has that realism that we haven't seen for a while. And I think when you look at um, um, for being a new girls in WWE, they're very old school. Yeah, and I love it. And and and, and, and I'm sure there were some people out there who are just sitting there going, "Wait, wait, David Flair's dead." I, I no, oh yeah, there's that too. Yeah, because so there there's more a lot of people looking up Wikipedia right now yeah. on the Flair family. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure there are people who went into this segment and were were so excited to see the divas in the main event that mm-hmm. they were gonna be excited for this segment. No I think there's. I'm sure there are people who were just like who were down on the divas oh, yeah. and, and they're gonna crap on it no matter what. So you, mm-hmm. you're kind of. I mean, it, I'm I'm so. Or, or, okay, we we all we all the three of us uh, sorg. Bobby and myself, we're sold on this, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. sold. Matt, I'm excited for that. What about you? Am I, am I sold on the match? Am, are you sold on the match from the? Yes, are you sold on the? Match? I, I was sold on the match, anyways. Uh-huh. I thought Paige was really, 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 really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. That's. I'll leave it. At yeah, that. Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte does need some work. But Paige is the most experienced of the two. Yeah. Paige may be the most experienced diva in the WWE, to be honest. <laughs> Nick, As- n- n- Nikki. Foxy. Well, oh, well Alicia Fox. Yeah, yeah Alicia yeah. Fox as well. well. Isn't, isn't, hasn't she been? No, not that long. Which one? Uh, Foxy. Foxy? Though, she's been around a while. She's been a lot. She, I, least. I was around I with Edge. Edge. I think she's uh, she may be the longest running at the moment between her and Natty at this point, but no, anyways. no, but, no, 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 Natty, she's pre Natty. She oh, is no. pre Natty. Alicia, Alicia Fox has been gone a longer than Natty. She's mid. She's Edge. the last decade. She might be a ten year. Yeah, she's she was one with Edge. She was the uh, wedding uh, planner. It's amazing to get tenure. <laughs> but they forget you're in the back. But anyways. Um, exactly. well, I, 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 I wish that you'd see more with her to be quite honest. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so, okay, let's, let's roll back. We had, a, I think an amazing, and I, I, maybe not so much the last one, but still, I think it had its high points as well. We had an amazing, uh, se- quarterfinal, mm-hmm. semifinal, quarterfinal, mm-hmm. uh, round of this, uh, WWE tournament. I was really impressed with it. Uh, what they turned out like first we had Owens and, uh, uh, Neville and I'm like, wow, they're playing beat that with everybody. And then you look at everybody in these matches, and again, we're talking about this the younger guys and everything. Um, 
because younger guys and everything and 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 it seemed like everybody was playing beat that with each other all night long and poor 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 Kalisto and Torrio mm-hmm. at the end because they had they didn't have a chance in hell mm-hmm. um i mean both are very very talented guys will not discount that uh and uh and i know i know uh, it was that you met made the comment about man you could be doing matches that were really good that i actually cared about if you were still in lucha underground oh. yeah <laughs> he could be <laughs> like could you imagine those two but in lucha underground the venue makes the difference the... what what lucha underground does no wrong sorg they could take you could you could give lucha underground heath wow. slater and oh, darren goodness. young no and no they would make gold Hey, I, heard, I saw an interview today. I listened to an interview today with Jinder Mahal, and I'm like, come on, let's throw him in some Hell yeah. Around. Why good, not? The bar popped up there. Why not? Don't hinder. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, but, but what else? Do I, I mean, again, just tremendous matches. Even uh, Roman and Cesaro was, was tremendous. Mm. Uh, uh, Ambrose and uh, Ambrose and Ziggler was just killer. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, and and, and, and I, I forget which one of you guys mentioned about, or maybe it was a Twitter uh, but they were talking about how there was kind of a build, and then they, all of us popped when we saw the the reverse uh, uh, Hurricanrana. Yeah, that was oh, one. Yeah. which mm-hmm. it's not the first time I've seen that. Move. No, but <laughs> Owens pulled that like a champ. <laughs> but they just took that in a neck breaking capacity. The, 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 the reverse yeah. Hurricanrana power driver. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Um, which which made the pop up power bomb seem meek in comparison when they mm-hmm. finished the match with it. Did you notice though? Did you notice though that uh, when Neville went for another Hurricane Rana, that's when Owens hit the power bomb. Right, right. It's going back I to the level. That was kind of really working. well done. And then even going to Am- the, the Ambrose match and talk- and Ziggler and, and talking about how they started slow and they kept commenting how they started slow. Mm-hmm. And it was like mm-hmm. ramped up and ramped up. Good builds, good pacing. This is wrestling, guys. And because the the guys that done. The guys that are were in the match in, the, in those matches like Reigns and Cesaro and uh, uh, Ambrose and Ziggler. Ziggler. They're they're not they're probably not going to wrestle too often. So it kind of tells you the story of they're both trying to get in get you know each other's move sets down like feel the feeling out process like in a you know uh, a round one of a boxing match. Uh, like a big prize fight or something like that, just getting in there. But guys like Neville and and uh, Owens, they know what the hell they're doing. Mm-hmm. They don't need that, you know, feeling out period. They can just go at each other. That was that. That actually told that story. Just kind of cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Matt. No. No. Okay. Um, Are you what do okay? you guys think of? Uh... Dean showing like frustration during his match, like he was slapping the mat a few times. Is that that's just Dean. is that is that's that pointing Dean. us towards something else? That's, or is that, that's, 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 that's Dean. crazy Dean. That's crazy Dean. That's crazy Dean. There's nothing, There's nothing you can... out of sorts is completely going to happen with his best friend in the world and buddy cop movie extraordinaire uh, at Survivor yeah. Series in the because I know whenever I'm watching like, a Dean Ambrose match, I'm thinking. He seems perfectly fine. Ah, uh, he's great. He's, he's not capable right. of any he's trouble perfect making of any sort. He is. If he has any trouble, he can just take a long walk from uh, uh, Massachusetts to Connecticut, Stanford at the TV studios, and look at Intercontinental Title. Mm-hmm. I did like his comment about Michael Cole in the fish tank replacing yes. Michael. Cole oh my gosh, the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So how how sad are you guys about Cesaro losing tonight? Not sad. I'm not. not sad. I'm never sad when he loses when he sh- when he looks like that. I just hope that they see that you know he's ready. Again, again, again. again, again I, I, I know. I don't see where you're going with this because, first of all, he won a match. Yeah. He won a match in the tournament. Ryback yeah. lost a match to Kalisto. And then see how far down he he's gone on that totem to, to well, I don't know. He went he went nuts on the new day tonight. So <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. Yeah, but but still, if 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 Cesaro was still in reaching for that brass ring or whatever, he would not even be in this tournament. I agree with SWT Pistons in the chat. He said uh, the four matches were fun tonight, but now Survivor Series seems predictable. 
Uh, it'll be Reigns and Ambrose in the final. I, 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 yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's seconded by the fact that we have two non-belt people versus two belt people. Yeah. Um, also, wouldn't you love to see Reigns versus Owens? Let's be honest. Yeah. I. Even yeah, if, I think even if Reigns gets it in the end, I'd be cool if Owens is up there. Oh, I mean, Owens does not need to keep winning in order to be a threat. At right. this Point. I, I think, think he's, he's well over. Be a threat all over the board. I think we used all our surprises on Kalisto in the tournament. <laughs> that, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It, was, it was a good surprise. It was a good little, you know, Cinderella story that was told. I laughed. It's funny how that one one little upset for Kalisto kind of feeds the rest of the tournament because then you spend the rest of the time watching the match and you kind of go, well, I wonder maybe like, he'll maybe do something Kalisto else. Yeah. Might come Once in they here. plant that seed yeah. in your head, maybe you start to believe that yeah. anything is uh, possible. That's where the long-time watchers like us, isn't it? That's them playing. Like He might brains. he might have been the Savio Vega this King of the tournament. <laughs> Always looking for the, it's a deadly game and it looks more like it. I like the C's being playing with Triple H talking with everybody to, uh, on, on my side. Um, mm-hmm. That makes it feel like the deadly game. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go get your WWE network. You can get your free I month, know, whatever. You know. We should get like freaking affiliate points for that or something. Ding. Uh, but uh, the go watch, I think, is, is it the 98 Survivor? Yeah, Series? 98. That yeah, was... I, can, I can speak we long to... and hard about the, the 98 Survivor Series. I've that. not only watched the 98 Survivor Series, I've now watched two Raws that immediately followed the 98 Survivor Series. And I'm probably going back to watch a third, the third one Why? after I get done with you guys. Because I'm into this deep into this late 98 WWE it's rabbit, good, rabbit hole now. They're leading up to the rock bottom pay-per-view, right? Exactly. Like that, that, this was, that was the phase that brought me back to WWF. Like, just like, ah, let's see what this SummerSlam is about. And it was uh, Taker and Stone Cold. And then it went into the Deadly Game, and I was like, oh, I'm hooked. Holy crap, I'm hooked back into this. You know, yeah. and, and this is after, like, what, two years of watching WCW. So, yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, the, uh, the, the, the Deadly Game gets a bad rap, but uh, watching it back, I think most fans today will find it very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, very enjoyable, but yeah, no, we're definitely inv- enjoying the network. I'm gonna go check out the uh, Legends of JBL as soon as we record here, and I'm gonna go record in our basic Legends, Legends, Legends of JBL, Legends said? with Legends with JBL, Legends of the Hidden JBL, Legends of the you Hidden said Legends, Legends of the Field JBL, Legends of the JBL Hidden Temple. I hope each of the, um, each of the legends are wearing uh, the Legends of the Hidden Temples t shirt, oh, like, like, Uncle Cold's the Blue Barracudas, and 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 his hat rises like old Max mouth coming up. What are you talking about? Um, hey, I want to. I, I do want to uh, uh, mention. I think we mentioned every other match that was on tonight. But um, I, I think I think uh, uh, Tyler Breeze gets a lot of credit tonight because um, a lot of people really cared about a match with our truth. Yeah, yeah, they were into that match, and I felt like that was a testament. I don't know if it's a crowd, but I thought it was a testament to Tyler Breeze that he was that hateable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's that good. He's that good. Because he's a, he's a, he's a, yeah. I, I totally agree. He That's makes good. you want to hate him, and it's easy to hate him. All right, some quick comments from the chat room, and we'll get out of here. Mostly talking about WWE Network. Let's oh, say it's man. a fun catalog plus NXT. That's what I, that was uh, me. Some people, some pe- oh, that is you. That is you. But hey, half of us say even if the pay per views aren't good, hey, I'm paying for. I'm paying. What was it two dollars an episode for mm-hmm. uh, yeah. NXT? Yeah. Hour that math works out. <laughs> yeah, and, if you uh, pay uh, if you pay two dollars and fifty cents for every episode of NXT, you get the pay per views for free. Sword and, and it's a deal. SWT Pistons. Uh, you're making us feel very, very young now. Oh, it says it's 13 <laughs> when WrestleMania. Wait, wait, wait. He says, he says, uh, I think I'm older than you. I was 13 when WrestleMania one occurred. Yes, I was four. Wow, yeah. I was Jeez. four. I was unaware. So I got into wrestling when I was like five or six, to be honest. So man, I remember, uh, I remember Undertaker being in Royal Rumble and me yelling, "Get that big guy out of there!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, get the big guy out. I know. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us again at Mainstream Matt. He writes our columns on WrestlingMayhemShow.com as well as around the indies on IndieWrestling.us. And uh, I don't know, anything else you want to plug out there? Uh, I just want to let everybody know to uh, – easy there, Bobby. Uh, go to IndieWrestling.us and check out the uh, latest Around the Indies column, brand new, the latest uh, 
fun stuff uh, that went on this past weekend, uh, complete with fun pictures and videos and things like that. Good, good stuff. Good, good sampling of everything that's going on. That's at awesome. uh, that's at indiewrestling.us, and then uh, coming up on the Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. Mm-hmm. Um, I think because Survivor Series is coming up on Sunday, we will have what's at stake column oh, for Survivor Series, where we of? explain to all of you, the good readers, why these people are fighting. Which is always a fun experiment. And check out his past out. columns about uh, the guy that jumped into uh, the ring uh, uh, during the, a couple of pay-per-views ago. He actually talked with him on Facebook and has an, uh, parts of that interview on there as well. As well as talking to the former WWE security officials about the situation that happened in the last few months. As well as uh, a breakdown of, of our interview with Kristen Joseph of Lucha Underground. Yes, the guy that used to be Big Dick Johnson. Uh, but anyways, uh, also with us at Bobby F. J. Town representing InsertCoinToBegin.com. We'll be doing Boss Battle at Live.SorgatronMedia.com, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And also with them on that is The Riz of Riz Plays Games, also representing InsertCoinToBegin.com. Hi. hi, Riz. Wait, when I say hi, really? This is, I don't this know. This is the end of the show. This is the outro. This is the end this of the is show. Fun. And this is where people started listening, so hi. Um, and, of course, you can join our show this here uh, shortly after Raw. And please subscribe to the, look for the WWE Wrap-Up on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. I think well, we might not be on iHeartRadio. Or look at the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube page for this and other great videos, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And we are live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com for the main show as well as the Indie Mayhem Show. We are slotted to talk to... Uh, I have unconfirmed with a guy that did a <laughs> wrestling uh, RPG game that uh, we're hoping to talk to and talk about that. Uh, so looking forward to that as well. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And uh, this has been your WWE Raw wrap-up via the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We'll see you guys.